Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Robert Thompson Nishan. Welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about the differences and similarities of institutional pharmacy versus community pharmacy based on my recent rotational experience that I went through over the last couple of months. So before I actually start this video, I just want to put a disclaimer out there that both places I went to were considered small facilities. So that really changes the uh, kind of work that you do. I want to actually work in a small facility because it allows you to do a lot of different tasks as opposed to working at a big facility where you may be probably doing just one task the entire time and doing one job. I want to have the ability to understand the different processes or different workflow that was going on so that I can get a huge understanding of the entire uh, pharmacy as a whole. And that way that would help me later on when I do my clinical rotations in the next couple months um, in my sixth year or fourth year of pharmacy school. I want to start off by first explaining what institutional and community pharmacy is first. So institutional pharmacy basically is any facility that cares for patients that are being admitted or being cared for for a long period of time. So any person that gets admitted to a hospital, a long-term care facility like I went to, a correctional facility or a clinic, they're considered a um, person that's going into institutional pharmacy as opposed to community pharmacy, which I kind of characterize like kind of like mass health care, which is like every single person that walks through the door is a patient. No matter if they're chronically ill or not, you have to help them out. And that's the major difference, I think, between the two of them. So let's start off by talking about the differences between community pharmacy first. The first thing I noticed with the community pharmacy was that it was a lot more fast paced. And I felt like the entire time I was working, I was simply engaged in everything I was doing. As opposed to when I went to the hospital, I felt like sometimes I was looking at my clock, it was only like an hour or two in as opposed to community pharmacy where as soon as I walked in the door, I was working the entire time. And then after a six to eight hour shift, I was like, wow, it's done already. Like I was ready at the door without even thinking about it. And a lot of thing I noticed about community pharmacy was that the facility I worked at was kind of considered independent pharmacy. So like a mom and pop store almost. And I loved the interaction with the patients. Like the, patient, the place I worked at, the patient population was Spanish speakers. So a lot of them were like really trusting of the pharmacists as well as the technicians that work there. And I love the like the interaction they have between the two of them because they're always like talking to each other and they're always like making sure that they're understanding where they're coming from. And I think that's how community pharmacy really like works the best because the patient population that we're working with, um, most of them were people that were like lower income or not insured patients. And the pharmacist was able to give them competitive prices or like very, very good prices on the drugs that were um, being dispensed by the doctors. And I, I love the fact that like the, the pharmacist was able to like, you know, take the time to actually understand the patient, like understand what they're going through and give them a, a good price, you know, because a lot of other places that you usually go to for community pharmacy is hard to give a patient a good price based on the prices that are already set up. But the independent pharmacy I worked at, the pharmacist was the one in charge, the manager. So they were able to give them like a very, very good price for drugs that usually would be a lot more expensive at other chain pharmacies. And I, I think that that population of people is like the best population because overall, like you really got to see the impact that people that are not insured or people that have low income can uh, have when they're working with healthcare because a lot of them are probably the most impacted by healthcare costs in general. So when a pharmacy is able to help them in that aspect, as well as help them with their health care. That's probably the most impactful I've seen like in all my experience. And I think that's something I'm gonna take with me once I go into my rotations is as I become a professional, that like the fact that a lot of the patients that are the most impacted are the ones that are not, don't have the ability to pay for the insurance or to pay for the healthcare services that they, they actually need. And then lastly, I'll just say, just to add on to the patient experience part, I just love the fact that the pharmacist was always interacting with the patients and like the patients would call them by his first name. And I just love that aspect of it. The fact that the patients and the pharmacist can like talk about like conversations about like their kids, their family, like how everyone is doing. I just, I really, really enjoyed that. And I think that's something I want to take with me, even like once I finish school and even when I become a professional, that's something that I think that's very important to always keep in terms of like healthcare, to always have that compassion, always have that connection with the people that you're interacting with on a daily basis. So in terms of the differences of institutional pharmacy versus the community pharmacy, mainly the hospital that I worked at was a long-term care facility, which didn't have a lot of admissions. So I worked at nighttime, which was a time after they filled most of the prescriptions for the day. So I really didn't get that much work to do, unfortunately. And it was also during COVID. So the, the hospital I worked at didn't really see that many patients 
uh, new patients. They really just saw like patients that were already in the hospital beforehand, even before COVID. So I really didn't get to see like a lot of work to be done. So a lot, the work was very, very manageable, but I kind of wish I worked in a little faster paced environment. But with that being said, I think it was still a good experience because I got to do a lot of different tasks that I normally probably wouldn't do if the place was very, very busy, where I would do like the same task every single time I went. But also, um, the one thing I really missed the most was the patient experience that I had in community pharmacy because in hospital that I worked at, you really don't see patients. You really just talk to like the nurses, the nurse practitioners, and the doctors. So I'm gonna put a quick little summary of this video right here. And I think overall, I just wanna summarize this by saying that the main thing I realized when I went through these rotational experiences is the most important aspect for me is really just the culture of the place that I'm working at. And I think I noticed that the most when I went to the hospital because I noticed the change and how the work felt when I was working with different people. So like when people that were not really encouraging or not really motivating when working with me, I felt a huge difference in the ability of me to work positively and work like collaboratively with others. And I think that that's why I really, really enjoyed the community pharmacy aspect a lot more because the patient interaction, even though sometimes it was challenging working with some patients, it felt very, very rewarding. Even if I had maybe like a bad day with staff or other uh, colleagues and technicians or the interns that I'm working with, I felt that when I had a good like interaction with patients, it really made it more rewarding. So for me, I think the one thing I'm going to take away from these experiences is that I really have to understand the importance of working with a team. I really, really enjoy working with a team and working with other people. So whatever workplace I wanna work at in the future, I think it's very important that I make sure that I have the right team or people that I work with or even the right interactions with patients. In terms of that, that's probably gonna be the most impactful part of my environment and how well I actually perform in my work in the future. So, oh man, that was a long video. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Uh, I'll catch you guys next one. Peace out, bye.